All right, and we are live with the... Fuck, what number is this? Number 11. <laughs> the 11th episode <laughs> of the Game Session Podcast. I'm your um, host, Jose, or Seth. Um, this many. This many. <laughs> uh, I am joined, as ever, by... <laughs> Is that the fire alarm? On. Are you okay? It is. It's fine. That's because this what podcast is too hot. It's setting off your Are fire you alarms. You need to call 911. Everything's good. <laughs> oh, hey, it stopped as soon as, as soon as I said that. So at the uh, top of the show, I just want to go to remind everyone to like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. That's over on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, if you're watching here on tw on Twitch, that's where we go ahead and do this live. Later gets uploaded to podcast services and YouTube with shorter segments cut up and spliced on YouTube for daily content. And Twitter is the best place to go ahead and stay up to date with all of us. You can find our ads on screen as well as a link tree link down in the description, which will conveniently link you to every little thing I've mentioned. Uh, today, I am joined by Sarah. Hello. Mesa, whose fire alarm has cued him early. Hello. <laughs> that was so enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for it to happen again. And we are joined uh, by the very lovely Dio this, this evening. Hey. How are you doing? Uh, Dio, you want to go ahead and introduce who you are for people that unfortunately do not know who you are? Okay, You've not been so, graced by your identity. So most here, uh, Jose and Sarah know me because I'm the community major for SDGC podcast and their Discord, and I also write uh, reviews for a Brazilian sites and games, movies, series, whatever, uh, called Marathon and Sofa. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you here. I know you're definitely one of the most. Uh, friendly people i've encountered on the internet um because what Thank was you. it i i think we i we vaguely alluded that we we're going to do a cyberpunk discussion um aside from the previous coverage we've done which is mostly primarily focused on um some, some of the like news cycle stuff some of the transphobic stuff that was going on but for this is going to like very specifically be about the gameplay be about the story and uh you were, you were excited by the idea and you asked to come on. I'm just like, oh, hell yeah, Dio. I, I think I need to do like another tweet after this. That's just like, I I would be so happy to bring like basically anyone on, uh, especially from the SDGC community. I am just literally so swamped and stuff. It's hard to scale people out sometimes. I have a big list of stuff to do on that front. But uh, we're very, very happy to have you here. Thank you. Um, so I guess just to jump into it, this is not a news week. This is not a, it's kind of a, what we've been playing week, but it, hmm. it's just, this is just all about cyberpunk and there's no real formal, uh, schedule to any of this. So let's, who wants the magic conch to go first or, or should we do like a quick, maybe one sentence thoughts on it? Well, I mean, we should also preface that some of us haven't beaten it. Uh, Dio is the only one out of all of us that have actually beaten it yeah so um i mean i guess i'll go first i have 18 hours in uh i'm addicted to side quest uh i'm that weirdo that zooms in on keanu reeves whenever he appears out of nowhere and i just stare at him <laughs> like a good place. which is fair i just i just stare normally he's like degrading me so it's hard to stare when i'm just like <laughs> literally out out loud going keanu reeves please stop but i'm loving the fuck out of it and having an absolute blast. Um, and a car appeared out of the floor and caused me to, I don't know, head on collision with a weird rock formation <laughs> that was really hard that was peeking off the ground. But uh, the, the magic conch, magic conch, who, who wants uh, let's it? See, uh, unlike you, uh, where, where cars magically pop out of the air and make you <gasps> crash, uh, I'm just naturally bad at driving in games hmm. so yeah the that driving, happens all by I, itself i either have my good days where i can just go like you but i'm just, just just like going around people or i have my bad days where i try to make this like a dramatic stop and end up like nicking a pedestrian's ankles and then all of a sudden all the police are on top of me and i'm like no nah! <laughs> <laughs> i'm like stop <laughs> so either Either, either. Wait, I must ask, Jose, have you had the sun appear out of nowhere and blind you? Because I have. 
I have not, but I've got a whole laundry list of other glitches. But uh, Mason, I have had what? The what? Sun appear out of nowhere, and I get blinded, and I hit somebody. Uh, Mason, what, so. what are some of the glitches that uh, you've run into? I've. All right, or I guess I'm sorry. What What are your like? What are your? What's maybe like your one sentence thoughts overall? My one sentence thoughts overall. Um, so I think my overall thoughts of the game, though I am enjoying it a lot, I'm 50 hours in, um, comes down to just one phrase and it's, it's broken promises. (laughs) (laughs) Well, at least it's preparing you for life, buddy. (laughs) Yeah. But if it's preparing you for life, where's Keanu Reeves at? That's true. Uh, It's not your life. Dio, w- oh. one sentence thoughts. A great story enveloped by an incredibly mediocre game. I think to build off that, my I, damn, I'm probably going to be the most negative. It is mm. the most mediocre game I've played in an extremely long time on all fronts. Wow, it sucks to be the only fucking positive person here, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't say it's bad. I just didn't say it was Yeah, you good. did. No, 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 no. You must there, remember there's, that there's, I hate there's... everything else that pe- I like everything else that people hate. So, well, so see, there, there's great, person. good, okay, bad, and then. What are you, the IGN I, I, rating list? <laughs> I would. I do not disagree with those low lower ratings it got. I think they're very well written. I just it feels weird being the only, I don't know, non crazy optimistic person on the internet right now. <laughs> like I don't know, it feels weird liking something that everyone else seems to hate. So for what it's worth, Sarah, I think you're crazy for a lot of reasons. <laughs> you're not wrong, and you're not the only person <laughs> to, to say that. So it's okay. But at the I, same time, it's weird. Like I'm literally enjoying myself. Wait, like when I have been away from my PS5, I'm thinking about playing Cyberpunk. All the games I got for Chris, Christmas. My first thought is. I can't wait to play these after I beat Cyberpunk. Like <laughs> it's just it's it wormed its way into my brain. And I'm just so in love with the experience. It's a beautiful open world. Everything in it is just God. <laughs> okay. Um just Sorry. to go by category, just to keep it semi organized. I know it's gonna devolve in an utter mess as soon as I open my mouth, but uh uh, what systems is everyone playing on? And if you're playing on PC, what settings, what specs, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Mesa, what, what are you playing on? Playing on PS5. So that's technically the PS4 version running on PS5 hardware. So you're not uh, undergoing a lot of the bugginess and lack of polish that the that the base version has, right? Yeah, exactly. It's pretty much just the PS4 uh, Pro version, except it's running at 60. Okay, and uh, just overall, like in terms of, I guess maybe performance and bugs and whatnot. What what's your experience been? Overall, the performance has been pretty solid. However, it's been crash central. Whenever I play the game for like, if I play it for like four or five hours, it's easy going to be six, seven, eight, nine crashes within that time. And it, it's luckily there's frequent frequent um auto saving. And so I never lose anything when a crash happens. I've never lost anything because of a crash. But the way it just kind of kills your momentum really sucks. Is the, um, because I know it's not the PS5 version, but does having that on an SSD at least help you get back into the game sooner? Or Oh, yeah. Load times load times are very, very short, like 10, 15 seconds. Um, okay. But, you know, just having to do it all just kind of sucks. Just a giant annoyance. Uh, as, as, yeah. as a quick little segue, um, or just a little minor point, this game does not fucking like being recorded on on Streamlabs for whatever reason. It consistently crashes like nine times out of ten. It doesn't like my Windows capture. Like it, it is the only game I've ever experienced these issues with. It just does not want me to uh, show off some of the funny stuff I've run into. <laughs> uh, kind kind of wish I had the PS5 version specifically for that. Because at least it's uh, super easy to like edit clips on the fly and whatnot. Uh, if you can even do that any anymore, I don't think you can do that because it's been taken off of PlayStation. Oh, Network. you're right. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can't share a video. You can't share screenshots, even from a disc copy, which I have a disc copy, which is what I'm playing on. Wait, what? I, th- I think you can at least 
uh, like save those clips to a USB you, and you then can. you can just do it you that can way. Save them. You just can't like put them on sure. Twitter or yeah. like put the put the screenshots on your like weird PSN timeline. I don't know what that's called, but you can't put anything on there. Really? Because I thought I thought my spiral video I put on Twitter was. I think that was before. That might have been. Before. Yeah. The, uh, they pre- stopped allowing screenshots when they took the game off of PSN. Damn. What? Because technically, you're not allowed to buy the game on PlayStation anymore. That's PSN. If you buy it physical, because there's stores that obviously still have copies of it, that's a different story. Like, that's, you, you still own the game. You still play the game. You just can't share screenshots from it. You can't share video because you can't link the game to buy it off of PSN. It's like a weird... It, that would bring us down a whole different rabbit hole. It's like a weird, like, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a weird. It's easy to play. I am playing on PS5. Um, I've had crashes. Um, they, there was many before the recent update. The recent update stopped a lot of them. I still get them very rarely. Uh, the worst I've had is um, side quests glitching out to where enemy doesn't spawn or I kill them too fast. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I kill them too fast. Um, but like M- Mesa brought up, the autosave is so fucking generous in this game to where I've been able to, once I realized a glitch happened, I was able to go in, reload the last autosave, which happens right before the quest starts, and that normal, and that's 100% fixed it. I've never had it where it kept happening. So well, that's good. At least you're not experiencing like maybe a severe. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, crashes were severe when the game first came out. Uh, in one three hour session, I had nine crashes, um, but again, uh, I, I mean, that's that's a, that's a bad thing, I'm just saying, but the autosave, like Mesa brought up, it never made me lose, like, a shit ton of progress. It made me, maybe made me lose five minutes, but they were literally driving time and not, like, doing quests. Um, and then other than the sun popping into existence, I mean, <laughs> really like terrible happen but the third one sucks though because you literally can't see so i've literally ran off a high highways and off a car because <laughs> i literally need to like pause my game and like uh and like fix fix with the brightness um but yeah uh in my from what i've heard the ps5 console version is the most stable i don't know if anyone has any experience I, i've heard back. it was the i've heard the series x is for at least for the consoles, the go-to version, and um, on basically okay. all fronts. Uh, okay, um, but yeah, I haven't had anything. Like, I haven't lost save files. I haven't um, story missions haven't glitched out. Uh, I just feel like I've been lucky though, because I have friends on PS5 who have gotten worse than I have. So I think I've just been lucky. Mm. Uh, Dio, you've been playing on PC. What what's yeah. the hardware that it, that you're running with? So my graphics card is a 1070, uh, and the CPU is a 1600, a Ryzen 5. So in terms of performance, I wasn't able at all to get a 60 FPS, and I ended up locking it to 30, which was another problem because the the game's input delay is absurdly immense, and I had to go into a roundabout way to to make the input delay smaller, but yeah, it was it was fine. Never really crashed. I didn't get many many bugs. Really, like I just uh, day one, I mm. I had some characters posing on me, but besides that, never really crashed. Never, I never really had uh, progress lost because of a, a bug or anything. Like I think there was one time that uh, a character didn't want to say his line or her line and i had to reload my save but like uh sarah said it's really the the, the save system really generous so i didn't really, really lose that much progress well that's good um uh so what would have been your results so you had to lock it to 30 were you playing with a mouse or controller i play with a mouse and keyboard and i remember uh, the other thing we asked that what are the settings? Because I locked it at 30, I was able to basically max the game. Like Sans uh, RTX, I was able to get everything to the highest option. So it was fine. And 
Yeah, it was fine with the mouse, but the the the, the, the problem really was the input delay. But as soon as I was able to fix it, it was fine. That's weird because uh, maybe I guess that's just kind of the beauty of PC gaming too. Is that um, so I kind of did the opposite. I'm on a little bit more powerful hardware than you are, at least for the GPU. I'm, I have a 2070, so I can't take advantage of ray tracing. I can take advantage of DLSS, which is a lifesaver. It can literally give you like a 30 plus FPS bump, uh, depending on the title. Um, so I'm running at 1440 and I'm getting an average of, I want to say 70 to 80 frames. Uh, that's no ray tracing. Like I, like to me, if I can't run a game, on PC on 60, unless it's like very specific case scenarios, like the South Park RPGs where it literally doesn't matter. Um, if I can't play 60, I just don't want to play it. Like I'll lower my settings, I'll lower my resolution. So I'm not necessarily getting all the bells and whistles, but it does play smooth. And in terms of bugs, it's not so much crashes aside from the uh, Streamlab stuff, which is annoying, but it's not necessarily like an issue that most people are going to have. That's like a very specific yeah. thing that I'm doing on my end. Um, in terms of bugs and glitches, it has been like some kind of minor annoying things. Um, I've had stuff where my guns will just stop working. Like with my uh, tech shotguns, I'm just like, yeah, it just won't fire for whatever reason. The only workaround is to uh, mm -hmm. manually drop it out of your inventory, pick it back up in the middle of battle oh, just to weird. get it working. Yeah. It's <laughs> really, it's really dumb. Do you get the, uh, do you get do you get the really fun one where you you can't get at your car zoomed in? Yes. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> oh my god! I found out the way to fix that though because my dumbass kept reloading the save and just hit start button. <laughs> if you just hit the start button, it fixes it. Because <laughs> that was happening to me and I couldn't run and I couldn't do anything. And I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And I hit the start button out of frustration, and it worked. I've had um, I've had UI popping up in places it shouldn't be. Like my health bar is down down to the bottom right for whatever reason. Um, ran random ass bars everywhere. Um, certain aspects of UI just not showing up. Like where it shows the icons for your grenades and whatnot. Just blank textures. You go into the map. It doesn't show the map. I had to had to quit out the game, reload it. Um, not being able to select dialogue options. I'm just like, yeah, I'm trying to scroll down. I'm trying to press down. Let me plug in control. You see if that works. Can't, can't select it. Got to stick with the first one. And, uh, one that was funny. I was in the middle of a conversation and, um, at least on Xbox, the same, but the same key for, uh, selecting an option is the same as like grab someone if you're behind. So you can like knock them out or kill them. Oh, same no. button so instead of selecting the dialogue option to continue the quest i just punched the dude out ground behind <laughs> and i accidentally <laughs> pressed x again and i i freaking snapped his neck i'm like oh no oh no <laughs> i no, didn't want no, to see now that see, see now that actually happened to me i was doing a side quest where i had to save some dude and i was like i am here to save you and i set the controller down because i went to take a drink of water and the right bumper in the middle of a talking gun scene, I pressed down on it and he exploded. <laughs> and I was like, oh no! Don't you, don't you just hate it when you're talking to your friend in real life and you just accidentally snap their neck? Damn, it's just such an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, see now, I didn't see that as a bug, I saw that as a feature. Someone annoying you during the conversation? <laughs> Well, see, that, that's the weird I'm part. So I could like, like the UI stuff, I couldn't tell because I a lot of that was I was in the middle of battle. I'm just like, wait, did I get hacked? Is this like diegetic me losing my UI interface? And I'm just like, oh, yeah, no, it's just the game. It's see, that game might be a glitch, though, because you can get hacked in game and your UI starts to glitch out. That's what I thought, but totally so I wasn't feel the case. Like or, I mean, I'm not making excuses, but I feel like that could have happened to you, but then your game was just like, you don't need UI to play, and just took it away. <laughs> Basically. Um, Mesa, I know you had some very funny bugs happen. You want to mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, tell them? Got a couple good ones. Like, there's the there's the, 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 the appearing car one that the, the, the people seem to like a lot. Um, paint, paint us a story for those uh, that are listening. 
So you're walking ar- around, minding your business. Yeah, I, I see a quest that I want to do, cross the map. I'm okay, let me call my car. And I do, oh, for some reason it stopped at 80 miles, 80 meters away, but I'll run to it. And the second I got there, boom, one of my other cars showed up from right under it and flew the other car into space. <laughs> You see, what, what it looked like from what I was watching, you're just walking ar- around, minding your business, a-, a car explodes as a car, as another car just pops up out of thin air, you're just looking around like, what the fuck is going on? And then the other car just falls from the fucking yep. sky. <laughs> uh, I, I've yeah. had a, I did have falling cars happen on a, a little while ago on it. Mm-hmm. No, nothing to I'm like that kind degree. I'm sad but. I haven't had that yet. The most I've had was uh, was I was driving to a mission, and I was going through this tunnel, and you know the sun had just appeared, so I couldn't see, and a car had spawned, but sideways, sticking out of the ground, and I ran into it in just the right way where the motorcycle I was on just decided. It's like it's like you know when you get behind a goat and you scare the goat. And the goat just like falls. Yeah, that's what happened. Was I drove into that like weird indent, and my bike just went Murk, and then I flew. <laughs> <laughs> it happened so fast that I was just like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Wait a minute, what just happened?" I I took no damage, by the way, <laughs> nothing, and I flew, and I was just like. Oh, this is the first time that this has happened to me. I wasn't even mad because it happened so fast that it made me like legitimately jump. <laughs> but I was like, put a car here. 